Hey Sherry. Uh, hey Sherry. Uh, in Harry's speech, when he was talking about fun, we can see that his eyes was full of passion. He said that there is more in these words than its content. And I would say there was more in his speech than the charismatic Harry. So first, I would like to talk about what I love in his speech, and I would divide it into two parts. The first part is the content of his speech. During his speech, we saw many lively examples that we can relate to, and it's very close to our daily life. For example, when he talked about how terrible com uh, our world will be if comic comms is used in every aspect in our lives, he gave us some example about how if eBay turns into, turns into comic cons, if Microsoft turns into comic cons. And also when he was talking about uh, more knowledgeable things like the Uncanny Valley theory, he used some examples like zombies and those stuff that we can understand to tell us more about his theory. So I think that's a good point. And another thing is about the broad knowledge base behind his speech. From his speech, we can learn many, many things. And I think it's really a very comprehensive speech. And the second part I liked about his performance is his presentation skills. We can see that Harry was very passionate on the stage. So he made good use of his body language to express his emotion according to the content of his speech. And also, he made good use of vocal variety. That is, the differences between your voice. For example, during different paragraphs, he used different volume, louder or quieter, to put stress in his speech. So for the more important part, uh, he used louder volume and maybe speaks more slowly so the audience can all understand. And I think it's a really good point. Although it's a nearly perfect speech, but I still have one suggestion for you. That is, maybe next time you can try to adjust the portion of different types of contents in your speech. For example, in today's speech, we can notice that maybe about 80 to 90 percent of the content is made up of knowledge, and only 10 percent is made up of his feelings and thought. So next time, I'll suggest to you, maybe you can tell us more why fun is so important to you, why you choose this topic as an issue you concern. So we can understand you more and know more about you. So I think this is a very interesting and knowledgeable speech for us. And next time, I'm looking forward to hearing more of your personal story in your amazing speech, TME. <laughs>